table. Come on, jump on your feet and shout hallelujah. Are you ready on that gallery? Those that are watching us, are you ready? This is as a point of contact. Huh? Our deliverance have just started now. Deliverance, deliverance, just right now, just right now, just right now. Come out! Any power holding any member of the family, in the name of Jesus, I command you, go, go, out, 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 out! This is a healing and miracle service in Nigeria. Prophet Elijah Dankono leads a congregation of more than 2,000 members, and today he's exercising demons out of people who he believes have been corrupted by practices outside of Christianity. Wherever you are, take it! Nearly half of Nigeria is Christian, but the church now faces a challenge. The country is in the midst of a global movement, black people leaving the church, and they're joining millions of Africans who already practice their ancestral beliefs. Dankonu is among the many religious leaders trying to stop them. The fact that young people are moving towards traditional African spirituality and leaving the church, why are you concerned about this? Yeah. These people, they ought not to go back to what they have left or what their fathers have left. In the name of Jesus! Christianity brought a clear civilization, spiritually and physically. African spirituality is the same as Satanism or demonism it will definitely end at human sacrifice in one point or the other. So how would you respond if someone says that traditional African spirituality is harmless? To me, it's harmful. Christianity was brought to Nigeria by European colonizers who coerced Africans to accept it. A tool to so-called civilize Africa, but also to control its people. Christians here face persecution too, but abandoning the religion, or even being suspected of doing so, can have consequences, social stigma, or even death. But that's not stopping Africans from leaving. Emeka Audi is a radio DJ, music producer, going by the name Blue Magic. He's Igbo, which is one of Nigeria's largest ethnic groups. Okay, we're going to try this part now. A few years ago, he started connecting more with his heritage when he began dabbling in the rituals of Igbo spirituality, known as Omenana. I used to pray against my dad, actually, because he was never a Christian. I felt he was like that devil, right? Because he wasn't Christian. Yes, exactly. I just felt like I didn't belong to church. Then I just woke up one morning and, you know, just stopped going to church. Just like that, just, like just that. one morning. I'm telling you. Joining Omenana, he helped me to know myself. He helped me to be in touch with myself, to learn about myself. My dad was a very strong uh, traditionalist, right? And he always tells me, you belong to this land, you belong to this place. Uh, I think it was after he died that I started yearning to go back to the village to learn more. Uh, of my roots, learn more of uh, my ancestry line, and he would really be happy with me. My mom will not really be happy with me right now. She was really devoted in church. Omenana is part of a belief system called Odenani. Followers honor divine spirits found throughout nature. Odi is preparing for the Sadaka, a gathering where the faithful present offerings to the gods. <laughs> Okonkwo Ede is a medium and Audi's spiritual advisor, or Dibia. I'm on a mission to serve our people, to clean up the land. Our people have been defeated, fed with so many lies. False teaching, 
So it sounds like you're talking about Christianity coming into Africa. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, Christianity, they are our virus. A virus? Yeah, they are killing our people. They came here to exploit Africa. Audi is becoming more confident in his spiritual path, but it's created discomfort between him and his sister. To be very honest, it's scary. What's scary? Having to tell everyone, this is what I believe, and have some people not accepting you for who you are. Because I'm, that's what I'm expecting to happen. I'm expecting to see someone who I used to normally discuss with and feel free because they, they thought I was a Christian, right? I expect them to see me and not greet me the way they used to greet me before. Tonight, Blue's hoping to have the talk he and his sister have been avoiding for years. So, when not to be like, take his feet, no matter, you know, me and my name, take his feet about it. When you mean, and name is Yedibia. We get that, you go. On the other side, that mm. somehow one day it's likely you do a little turn back. So I sit over you in prayers, you know, and still hoping that someday we'll still have that common uh, religious practices together. Yeah, so, so, I'm not a bit with Jesus now. I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus. Before I'm not a child, I'm not a child. I'm not a child. I'm not a if you don't know these stories, you cannot be fully aware of who you are as a Nigerian. So I feel you're not know, able to keep this up people on the other side, you understand? But then, I feel you don't. Audi is slowly opening up about his newfound spirituality. He's even planning to put it in his music. Would you say this is like trying to reclaim African identity? Yes. That's actually what it is. And that's why you keep seeing movies like Black Panther. And that's the reason why you keep seeing people trying like Beyonce doing what she's doing. There's an awakening. This was the original way before the colonization. It has always been a better way to live. After the Saraka, Ode brought me to his Dibia for a sacred divination called an Afa. In the ceremony, the Dibia receives insight into someone's past, present, and future. Where are you going, Dibia? In Odenani, lineage and destiny define who you are. This is the first time a DPI will tell me who I am. What's your village name, your village? Obaru. Odefe. Obaru. Odefe. Odefe. In Obaru. Do you pray to the, to your ancestors? I've never done that. You need to plead. You need to talk to them, not the Ask them, but you don't do that. Ask them for guidance. They will give you. The DPI uses sacred relics to invite my ancestors into the room. Alcohol and snuff bring him closer to the spiritual world. Call your name the way you are called. Chika Odua. Mm -hmm. And the sins, Chica. Yes. Your case is complicated. And Afa can go on for hours, as long as the Dipya continues to hear from the spirits. You are that river. You are that stream. You flow the river Niger. That is why you are like this. You flow into the bigger river. But you are 
older than the river. My priestess. That is the wine. You know what it is, the wine? Yes. Nothing was there. You are a queen in the water. Mami water. You are a mami water. For the followers of Odinani, the Afa is just the first step on a spiritual journey. Today, the Dibya has offered me a pathway to begin mine if I wanted to. Oh, you go to the village, look around. What are there? There's water. 